Oh, if I could become an expert overnight, my chosen field would be... The first concert that I went to, uh, right, if I'm being honest, it was Avril Lavigne, but I didn't want to go. It was one of those things that my parents bought the tickets. If it was the gig that I chose to go to, it was uh, Rancid in 2003. Whoa, that's a bit of a shift. <laughs> you can understand why I was keeping the Avril Lavigne thing quiet. If I could live anywhere in the world, it would be here in Belfast. Um, I've come to really love it. I'm from the North Coast uh, originally, up in a small village outside Coleraine. Um, then I lived in London for uni, and coming back to Belfast just has the Goldilocks effect. You know, it's not too big and not too small, it's just right. The thing that I quit that I now regret is probably, probably French. Uh, a short story is that whenever I got a D in my French in GCSE, I went and apologised to my teacher for wasting her time. So when I was a child, my dream job was to be a bus driver. Um, and there, there, yes, you can hear laughing behind the camera. Uh, the reason for that was that I thought that it would be really nice to drive you know, all over the country and meet people. What makes me excel in my job is probably the fact that I care, which I know sounds like a bit of a sort of easy thing to say, but you know, I, I don't like to half-ass things, I like to make sure things are done right. Right, so if somebody had to play me in a movie, people say I look a lot like David Harbour from Stranger Things. Oh, so three things that really wind me up are uh, people with poor driving etiquette, uh, people who are rude to people in shops and restaurants, you know, stuff like that. And then the last one, <laughs> it's really specific, but it's whenever people leave like toothpaste around the top of a tube, you know, it's all messy and stuff. I just think that's, that's gross. A guilty pleasure of mine, easy answer, is the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, I love going into the cinema and just switching off my brain and just watching what's happening on screen. So my favourite holiday destination would have to probably be Edinburgh. Um, it's one of the first places I went away with my wife and it, Scotland in general just feels like a second home. You know, it feels like Northern Irish people and Scottish people are, are one and the same. I wish I was better at drums uh, and I also wish I was better at giving myself a break. Um, I'm extremely hard on myself in sort of every aspect of life uh, and I think I could just, you know, take it easy on myself every now and again. What makes me laugh is uh, the Tories, uh, for one. Uh, so uh, I'll start again just in case you don't want to use that one. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, if I could become an extra overnight, my chosen field would be cooking, I think, yeah, for sure. Um, it's something where like, I look at my friends who are like experts at taking stuff out of a cupboard and throwing it into a pan and making something great, whereas I follow exact instructions and it turns into dog's dinner, so 